Hello, this is Miss Candy from TPOT Media. Welcome to Dark X. Dark X. Dark X. A real feminine present. Here comes X. 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 Think about this. Think about this. Now, I don't pretend to know or even speak of all of men's wants. I mean, I know I'm about to say some things, and as a disclaimer, I'm gonna say that I don't speak for all men. So for whatever men I am speaking for, here we go. We know that men want many things, especially from women. You hear the talk about men wanting Asian women, Hispanic women, and of course, white women. And in some cases, these things may be true. However, all of this is the short answer. Being a black man myself, I've heard the arguments, excuses, and cover-ups leveled at black men. We have been labeled as not being loyal, not being committed, not being worthy of women at all. Not we don't at like all. to not work. We don't want to work. We don't build anything. We abandon our children and ultimately the women who bear them. So the narrative is basically black men ain't worth a damn. If you listen to some of these internet female philosophers, none of us are decent. None of us are good. None of us are good men, if you will. We know nothing about life. We know nothing about women. We know nothing of what we want. I beg to differ. Most men, we do know what we want. What we want is a woman who is feminine, real, not some hyper-masculine female with an idea in her head that she can out-alpha an alpha male. We want to be understood by women. If she does not understand, she should at least have the interest in understanding a man, even if it means going out on a limb to gain some of that understanding, especially if you're dealing with an alpha male. You must know an alpha male just is not going to put up with the fraudulent fallacy like all women are queens, that women can do no wrong, that they are privy to certain rights that are ignored when applied to men. I think most importantly, a man wants a woman who knows herself. And by knowing herself, I don't mean you some inflated family. or overinflated view of her own value. Thinking because she has a vagina and breasts makes her beyond reproach and immune from constructive criticism, responsibility, culpability, or accountability. A woman who spends her time focusing on being a feminine female instead of spending her time focusing on what she deserves because she is a female. Men want to see personality, humility, integrity, none of that self-centered selfishness. Men aren't interested in nonchalant, conceited characters whose attitude doesn't match her aptitude or her vocal vitriol does not match her cosmetic features. Which brings me to the next thing. Men want beauty. Think Why? Because men are visual. That's a fact. We understand that not all women are physically striking or the proverbial dime piece. So women need to understand that too. This is a big problem. Us men, if we are average or below average, we know it, so we own it. A woman, though, can be a four and swear she's an eight, a nine, or even a 10. But I say this, if you are a 10, be the best 10 that you can be. But if you are a four, be the best four you can be. You know the old saying, beauty is only skin deep, which
which is true to a degree. But you can be nice to look at, but not nice to be around. You can be fine as hell and still be a straight jackass. And if you aren't fine as hell, you better be working on that inner beauty daily. Better be bringing something more to the table than what's between them legs. Trust me, it's not enough to just have a pussy if it's attached to an asshole who lacks personality. And if you're a one or a two, lady, you better know how to cook, clean, sew, wash cars, fix computers, and like sports. Because if you're not too nice to look at, you better at least be nice to be around. This is how the game is played. Men are outnumbered by women, so men have the advantage. The ratio is not in women's favor. This has to be kept in mind. And your sex game is not going to get you far if you're lacking the other qualities. But make no mistake, men do want sex. The thing is, if they want to sex you up for a night or sex you up for a lifetime. And ultimately, females have to decide which one of those take place, when, how, and where. If you are a woman who lays down with the brother three hours after you have met him, you won't have a problem finding a brother to accommodate you. But don't expect to get called tomorrow and don't expect to get wiped. There are brothers out there who aren't looking for seriousness, just like there are brothers out there who are. Men want women to distinguish the difference between the two, decide which ones they want to deal with, but also accept the consequences of those decisions, whether those consequences be good, bad, or ugly. Because men, we always have to accept the consequences of the decisions that we make and our actions. I think a woman who does the same will fare much better when dealing with men and may fare better in choosing them too. Men want many things from women, but I believe more than anything else, a man wants her to talk, walk, act, and conduct herself like a woman. This is always a good place to start. What men want from women is a presence, not an argumentative, belligerent, combative presence, masked as being strong. There's more strength in your femininity, trust me, than it is in a female's masculinity. Women should compliment a man's life, not complicate it. I may catch some blowback from what I've just said, but I'm not concerned. This is dark exodus. My loyalty is to the brothers. I will stick up for them no matter what. And if any disgruntled dames have a problem with that, too damn bad. The fact is, nowadays, brothers are smarter and more aware. The social justice victim of society arguments no longer work. Most men are interested in wifey material women, even if they don't plan on marrying her. Let that sink in. I'm just sick of men being labeled as mindless buffoons who don't know who they want or what they want. Most men know exactly what they want. The question is, do they want you? And oh yeah, don't be a hoe. Don't be a hoe. Don't be because a hoe. only some men like hoes, and a hoe will never get wiped. Only stupid ass dudes do that. Trust me. And don't try to act like you don't know the meaning of whore. You women know if you're a hoe or not. Like I said before, know yourself. Tell yourself the truth. That's how you change. That's how you grow. And if you have a man, and he does the man thing and treats you right, respect that man, reciprocate his treatment, or leave him the hell alone. Don't screw a good dude over because you don't know yourself, because that's what men want, reciprocity from any woman they deal with. And if any woman doesn't understand that simple thing, you're just stupid to the facts of life and selfish as hell. And any man that wants you is a damn fool but real men, decent men, men with purpose, it's not hard to figure out what they want from a woman. A real feminine presence.
Open your mind. 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 The fuck is there? Fuck is there? Now, what you think about that? A real feminine present. Open your mind. Only from TPOT Media. Open your mind. Open your mind.